Hello and welcome back. We're heading toward the abandoned hut. Uh, because that's as good as uh, a plan we can actually uh, think of. We, we can go across the river. We have some points of interest there, like Tosgutter Lair, Technic League, Encampment. That could be interesting. Maybe there's gonna be a companion that we can pick up. I'm actually looking forward to new companions, actually, especially magical ones, because uh, I ended up in a pretty uh, non-magical party. Like, yeah, 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 we do have two uh, spellcasters, but I'm really missing a cleric at this point, because we are blind. We can't remove the blindness. How, how punishing is that? I basically have two characters that can't do damage. Least, least uh, the slavers didn't take my party members, and I guess we're going for a round two with them. Um, sure. Resting would be nice. Why you mean Don't resting you? would be nice? We rested. Ration. How long do I need to rest? Let's begin rest. One hour rest. I'm hungry. When we stop. What the hell? I just... Hmm. Not sure what I'm supposed to be clicking here. Ooh. Oh! What? The manage button! I didn't realize! Well, he sucks at stealth. Oh my god. People gonna hate me in the chat. Perception. You have perception, right? Wait, what? Let's remove first. So, she has perception. Use healing spells and blue these before resting. Oh, that's, that's very cool. Definitely gonna do that. Valerie, maintain armor. Uh, what is that? Adjusts and repairs her armor. Gains one circumstance AC bonus in the first battle. That's garbage. Miri. Well, that's probably gonna be... Garbage for everybody. Okay, that's that's very special. Undead Guardians? What? Okay. Well, whatever. Let's just keep an eye out. Cooking. Ooh, knowledge World. Okay. Okay, who's the best hunter? Should we even have? Use rations. You can use rations. Who's the best hunter? This is bullshit. She's the best hunter and the, sh the best watchman. Easily. Six, six, eight, eleven. So we can do something like that. Not so good at camouflage. I can cook. Party meal. Cooking. Pretty unlikely. Might as well maintain your armor. Because there's nothing you're gonna do. Perception. You can use rations. Okay. Oh yeah, we're not doing any cam camouflage. Can we just... Begin resting? But did we have enough time to rest? I don't know. 
Alright. Maybe I shouldn't be going back right away. I just want referral. Okay, let's go into the hut. This is a dead end. Yeah, let's check it out. The legacy of angels and other supernatural ancestors can show up in distant progeny. Thus, an Azimar child may be born to a family of two ordinary humans. Hmm. Well, that's one of the uh, options you have on the character creation screen. But that's not the approach I wanted to go with. It just rains. Let's push onward. I don't know. You're also blind. You're here. Please follow me. Sorry, we need to get the grass first. We're gonna make the I blind woman pick it. Just for the blues. Father, please! I look for the herbs you ask. There just weren't enough. Silence! Did you forget the rules? You speak when I say. Do as I say. But father, three times. Uh, enough! I can't. Enough! Me Wham. do it my way. What's that? Oh, look at that! Taking the stuff. Mm. Onwards to victory. Some doggies. Oh boy. Onward. Okay, let's take out the wolf. Hi, wolf. It's good. Let's get it all. You fall. What we have here? No grass, old notes. In early spring, Willow's leaves are the same color as her eyes. His too. I, I barely hold myself from burning them out with acid. It's his fault. Despicable weak. If it was not for him, she would be still alive. Does not talk to me. Looks away. Plans something. I know. I know. I know. I have to gather the first herbs and make a hiding place. Hide my charms. He's a coward, but he can steal and run away. I will punch it out of him. Everything hurts. I can barely walk. How could he? How? How would... He, <clears throat> he would never bring himself to confront me on his own. He says his name is now Stag Lord. He says he will not let me die or let me go. He says I should not be calling my son like I ever did. He told me to pack my things. We are leaving soon. He now has his people and his own fortress. I'm hiding the charms in the herb cache. I probably should not. I will not be able to escape. He will not let me. Well, that turned around. We do it. So, abusive way. father uh, to the stag lord, getting what he deserves. I'm sorry, stag lord. Like it was pretty. <clears throat> Where have you been? I, 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 I told you to prepare everything for the ritual. Oh, that was. You will never give me orders again. What? Well, then, summon your power. Or maybe you'd like to try the acid. I'm not your slave anymore. Not your toy. Not your son. I won't kill you. Your powers will be useful to me. From now on, you do as I say. Quite the turnaround. Now the son sounds like the father, and the father sounds like the son. This Topaz ring. 
I have been waiting for you. The flowers, birds, and wind told me you would come. Oh, my poor flowers. They will perish before long in this fog. Seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. Ooh, mysterious talk with nobody. Psh, I'm not crazy. Tell me what to do next. No, tell me about yourself. I would like to know more about my ally. I had a strange vision. A young man and an old droid who t tortured him. And they exchanged roles. Exactly. Would you stop following me? I have no intention of helping you. <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you about my vision. Yes, yes. The soil, water and stones here are infused with toxic pain and fear. They poison this place as we speak. You have seen where your enemy's journey began. The one called Stag Lord was once the victim of a cruel madman and has since become one himself. You see now how monsters are born. And what comes of regret for a thing you cannot change? There is no time to be lost. <laughs> we must do away with the fog quickly. Damn of yourself. I would like to know more about my ally. Do you really wish to know? Mm -hmm. Fine. I'll tell you. A fairy tale. Once upon a time, there lived a young nymph. She lived in an enchanted forest, where thousand birds sung day and night, where the sun often left a spark or two hanging in the tree crowns, and where the starlight fell on sleepy glades like a glowing soft haze. Sounds boring. The young nymph loved simple things. Like sitting by the stream with her friends, braiding each other's hair, and adorning their braids with crystals made of dew, or watching the flowers blooming. But inside her soul, the young nymph dreamed of something more. Like what? Oh, dreams. Nothing in any world can live without them. Even a seed that falls in fertile soil cannot sprout without the dream of the sun. The same was true for our nymph. She wished to turn her enchanted forest into a true fairy tale kingdom and fill it with thousands of wonders. But plans so ambitious rarely go unnoticed by greater powers. Well, if... well... Okay, sure. But if your dream is to come in my party and uh, I wear that questionable attire, your dream might be a reality. Might become a reality, like right now. Oh, oh, but I'm not sure. Like, are you actually here? Seems more like a hologram. Those greater powers decided to punish the nymph for her boldness. They sent a horrible monster to poison the enchanted forest and kill the singing birds. The nymph was forced to flee. And finally she found shelter here in the stolen lands. Here she hoped to sprout the seeds of a new dream, even as she mourned the dream she'd lost. But then... The magic mist appeared, killing everything that lived. And the nymph cast about, desperately searching for help. So far, these are the fairy tale's final words. But I hope this is not the end, just yet. Yeah, on second thought, I was respectful and I didn't wanna uh, interrupt. But yeah, I heard enough of your story. Just tell me what to do next. Search the area around the hut. Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. I am sure the fog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the fog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past may hide the answers that shape the future. 
Will you stop following me? <laughs> okay, farewell. I will be waiting. Sure. I won't be halted. Picking some grass. Over here. I'm curious. <clears throat> I went to the old temple of the elk again. Wicked gloomy place, just like my soul. It used to be used to shine once. And it is hollow and horrible now. Did he spy on me? Maybe I should lock him up. No. Let him be. What can he do? The useless coward. Just whimper and hide. Ow. You come again. Did you find something? I was actually going away. Would you stop following me? What? What I found the druid's notes? Oh yeah. Uh, I found this piece of paper. Uh, do you like it? Do you think this can help us? An ancient temple. The temple of the stag god. Yes, yes, that must be it. The place of power where the druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. The temple hides in the thicket not far from here. You'll need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. Sure thing, Princess Leia. I have, to have a clear goal now. I'll continue my journey. Head on! I checked the box. I see something. Oh, ferocious wolf. Oi! You wanna come out? How do we get in there? Oh. I guess we'll this way. Kill him! That looked like he hurt. It's in there. Nothing? Wow. We do it my way. Oh, what a let them. Just hold. Okay, where are we going? Ah, uh, sure. Let's leave. That that ticket must be that uh, big tree, and uh, we can go in there. I'm pretty sure we still can't go in there. We have to find some way to uh, gain entrance. Not sure how. Maybe alchemist potion. Throw it at the tree. We're gonna hold down. Maybe too extreme. I don't think it would work. <gasps> Six XP to level up. I like that everyone is gonna level up at the same time. It does suck when uh, um, some of the characters are just gonna fall behind in levels and um, and you just maybe not, not use them because of that. So. Just an extra reason to not use characters that are not in your party. Hopefully that's not gonna be a thing here. So we... Yeah, I'm feeling good about this part of the map. Fine patch, I'm not sure what's over here. That's gotta be the place. So we can check the journal. Uh, it would be more efficient to have the newest information at the top. It arrival. Artucci is not showing up. A leader can't get any rest at night lately. It's not due to bed bugs in his be uh, bedroll. As soon as he closes his eyes. Um, Shrike River. Okay, that's stolen land. Companion cat. Follow Kalana's trail. Companion quest. So, she's a possible companion. Prove your worth. Help Amiri kill Tusk Gutter. That's her quest? Find the Temple of Elk? We just need to kill Tusk Gutter. Okay, 
Why not? Oh, we can go through there. Uh, yeah, just travel. I just want to go that way. Yeah. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Yes. It would be nicer if you didn't have to rest every two minutes. Let's begin resting. I don't know. Resting will take six days and nine hours. How much we need to rest? Party will not rest. This is where the fatigue... So it's gonna take us nine hours to rest. Sure. Why not? We're still blind, though. <gasps> oh, look at that. Temple of the Elk. This is just a special place. I can rest, too. This is where the Temple of the Elk is? Keep going. Okay, interesting. Us gutters lair. Uh, sure. Let's go there. Ah! Should we try to avoid? It's done. I require rest. Why? Am I supposed to just play this game? I don't know, it's 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 just dumb. Uh what we were attacked? Fuck. I'm not sure how we should do it. Like, should I rest? Well, I don't know. The stolen lands are dangerous. I'll take your word for it. Actually I experienced it. Quite a bit myself already. Blood for Gorum! Oh, this. Get the hell up! I'm hungry. When we stop, no. let us strike as one. Go attack the bandit. Go oh, kill that guy. Oh, we level up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, nice. Hmm, leveling up. Let's do it. Okay, do we want to be a level three fighter? We're gonna get an extra feat and overhand chop. But a two-handed fighter makes a single attack with an attack action or charge. With a two-handed weapon, he adds double his strength bonus on damage rolls. Pretty nice. So, I think we're gonna go for that. Uh, it's gonna increase our base attack bonus. Next. We can't allocate anything here. We're gonna allocate... I'm not sure if we're gonna allocate Persuasion at all. Because he sucks at it. Also, Athletics. He suffers a penalty because of the Breastplate. So, that doesn't help us too much either. Knowledge world. He, like, I can put points into it, but his intelligence is low. Oh boy. Okay. I suppose this kind of character is good in a fight, not so much uh, out of it. Next. I don't necessarily want to focus on a weapon. Blind fight. Immediately, every time you miss, because of concealment, you can reroll your miss chance percentile, roll one time to see if you actually hit. Uh, not really what we need. Bull rush. Bull rush maneuver. 
I don't know, combat reflexes. Wait, you may make a number of additional attacks of opportunity per round equal to your dexterity bonus. That's crazy. Uh, but attack of opportunity is uh, not uh, very um, common. When you are adjacent to an ally who is also has this feat. Okay. Deceitful. What is that? Two on persuasion. Yeah, death hands, trickery, dodge. I'm not sure if that stacks. You gain dodge bonus to your AC, a condition that makes you lose your dex bonus to AC also makes you lose benefits of this feat. Oh. So this is going to give us free dodge bonus. But if my armor can only allow one, then uh, that's not going to work. Okay. Exotic weapon proficiency uh, might be interesting. Great cleave. This allows us to. Oh, that's actually a good one to go for. Reaction. No? Cleave. Improved initiative. Blinding reflexes. Shake it off. Shield focus. Uh, let's just go with Great Cleave. That should be okay. Fine. Complete. I require rest. You do? Okay, Valerie. Got two fighters. She's gonna have armor training. Re reduces her armor penalty. Automatically, and... She just becomes basically a better tank. I'm not sure where to put her two points. We can go for persuasion, but... Well, she's a... Uh, not gonna help. She's also not very smart. can keep putting points into persuasion, but like... There's nothing we can do here. Knowledge world. Fine. Weapon focus. I'm not sure what she has. You can easily move through a, a dangerous melee. You get dodge bonus to armor. Class against the text of opportunity cause when you move out. Yeah, yeah that's... I'm not sure we're gonna do that. Die hard. You're especially hard to kill. Uh, armor focus. Uh, can we? No, we already have heavy armor selected, so that's no good. Alertness. Weapon focus. Well, we can focus on tower shield, right? We can endurance, no? Ah, uh, that's not what we want. She already has toughness. Power attack, shield focus. Okay, shield focus, that's the one we want. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, complete. Well, wow. Miri. Uh, Barbarian. Sure. And we're gonna get an extra feat. Uh, that's actually not an extra feat. That's just a feat. Uh, we're gonna get... We can go for Perception. We can go for Lore Nature. Ability. Uh, however, she has a penalty to that. And athletics, and she has a penalty to that as well. I suppose that is the only thing that makes sense. Uh, she can go with armor focus on medium armor. If you want to go for that. Dodge bonus, extra rage, extra rage power. I'm not 100% on, on barbarians. We can just go for power attack. Uh, that should be okay. Weapon finesse. 
How does that work? Okay, cool. It doesn't take a long time to uh, distribute our points. Inquisitor, I'm, I think I'm just gonna go with uh, their original classes. Solo tactics. Sure. What is this? Judgment. Well, you need to read a lot. Oh, she actually has access to everything. Which is quite interesting. She can put points into that. Well, she's gonna go for perception. Also, she has... Uh, higher than average intelligence, wisdom, intelligence, so she's actually good at those, she doesn't need to go for charisma, but like doing those is pretty good, I'm not sure what else we should go for, athletics, mobility, On point in mobility. Why not? And uh, we're probably gonna be. Oh, yeah. Now I have to choose feet. I'm not sure what to pick. I really have no idea. There's no. <sighs> well, I was just about to say there's no recommended, but I can just uh, correct that to say. The recommended is fucking stupid. So I'm not sure why they even uh, have that. Dexterity is... Eh, I don't know if you want to go for a heavy armor with her. Just to grab the feet. Armor focus. Wait, what? Wait, okay. Medium armor, we can uh, focus on that. Combat expertise. Uh, what is that? Yeah, that's not what we want at all. Coordinated defense, defense, combat training. Left hand, die hard. Die hard seems interesting. Elemental focus, endurance, great fortitude. We don't need better initiative. Meta magic, power attack, size strike. <laughs> Precise strike. So it's like a Sneaky sneak attack you can pick up. Skill focus. Throw anything. Allows us to use tower shields. But that's that's all we got. Shield bash. This is not recommended. The the problem with weapon focus is that you have to pick one weapon. Out of all the weapons, and you're gonna get a bonus to that weapon only. Which basically improves its magical capabilities by one. So it's like one tier higher. I'm not sure if that makes sense. But if you have just a bunch of random weapons, and some of them are better, you can just give that weapon to this character, and it's as good as using a... Just a uh, worse quality specific weapon, or even better. And the chance that you actually find a high quality, a specific weapon, is uh, not great. I'm not sure what to pick here. Maybe we're gonna pick Die Hard. You're especially hard to kill when your hit point total is below zero, but you're not killed. You can fight on 
for one more round as if disabled at the end of your next turn unless you brought to above zero hit points you immediately fall unconscious that seems okay and what is this back to back your allies eyes are your own and yours are his by your flanked and adjacent to an ally with this feat receive two circumstance bonus to AC against attacks uh, from opponents flanking you uh, I don't know so much stuff to read size strike oh this is a, like a combat but you gotta have this and your ally has it too that's the shield wall this is just dumb Ugh. Oh. I'm not sure what to pick up here. Whenever you're adjacent to an ally who has this feat. So I don't like that too much. So you actually have to have a bunch of characters who have the same feat. Usually you want to avoid that. And also it uh, very much restricts you from like switching uh, party members. Because oh boy I need to get the, the feat combo. Hmm. Coordinated maneuvers. Size strike. Shake it off. No. So they didn't really have this teamwork aspect, the Inquisitors, I suppose. You have to be near to allies who have this perk. Allies, uh, Spellcaster. I don't know, let's go like Precise Strike. Teamwork Feat. I don't like these, I have to say. Uh, we can pick up another spell. I don't think there's a... Remove Blindness. That would be too good. Cause Fear. That seems interesting because... Cause Fear is used on me all the time. And it's fucking bullshit. So, if it's as good as it seems... Uh, when the enemy... By, by what I've seen from the enemies... This is just an insane skill. Solo tactics. I don't know about this team tactic. It's uh, questionable. Also, base attack bonus is only a plus two. Uh, I'm losing compared to what troubles you? Uh, a lot higher with other characters. Well, these fighters. So fighter. I think fighter is like a three. I think fighters get like plus one every four levels. And that's that. Inspire competence. A bard of level of third level or higher can cause his performance to help allies succeed at a task. They must be within 30 feet and able to uh, see and hear the bard. They get whatever. So. Better singing. We're still gonna go as a bard. We can't put points into that. We have a lot of points. We should uh, uh, definitely care about that because we have a high charisma modifier. And uh, trickery is actually one thing we have to care about because this is how we... We might want to go for stealth as well. We don't need perception. Uh, we don't necessarily need this. But mobility... Mobility is important as well. God damn it. This is only for camping. I don't know if I want to pick up perception or knowledge arcana. I don't I don't think we need that. Perception is based on what? It's based on wisdom. Keen senses, so because of the racial racial, uh we have an advantage with that. Um Bardic knowledge. Ana. I don't know. Let's go with that. I think at that point, we gotta replace one of the characters and go size shot. You can shoot or throw ranged weapons at an opponent aged in melee without taking standard 4 penalty on your attack rolls. Uh, lingering performance. The effects of your barding performance carry on even after you've stopped performing. 
Uh, the bonus and penalties from your bardic performance continue for two rounds after you cease performing. Any other requirements such as range or specific conditions must still be met for the effect to continue. If you begin a new bardic performance during this time, the effects of previous performance immediately cease. So, I'm not sure what to do with that. But does the character automatically start a new performance? Or would the character wait for the end of that uh, previous song? Because if that is the case, it would uh, allow us to sing a lot more. But if I use it automatically and uh, Lindsay just ignores it, and it just keeps singing and singing all the time, and uh, the extra duration is wasted, uh, so I'm not sure. But it still seems pretty good. So we might just stick it on for like and see how long it lasts, still looks good. Uh, maybe I'm gonna go with Cause Fear <laughs> again. Unbreakable Heart. Uh, morale bonus to saving throws, summon monster. That could be interesting. I didn't do it, I went for Hypnotism, but it sucks. So maybe if summon monster is exactly what we need. Because a summons are usually pretty good because you can throw them down, they soak damage and can deal damage so you're basically like this heals a little bit but if this has like like equivalent health and can't deal damage as well or maybe it probably has a, even more health so uh, let's go with that oh what a camp and now we we have to rest again. I won't be Don't we? Altered. How are you fatigued? Unbelievable. Resting would be I'm, nice. Also, I'm not sure if this is a a part you guys would like to see in in the adventure because I can certainly understand not wanting to see this. Although the argument can be made like if you don't like it, just skip it. But I, I feel like you know you might not want to see this, and I can fully understand it and ultimately the choices I make here should be reflected in the journey and uh, that's that's totally fine I, I'm just not sure what you guys prefer because I, I like both approaches myself come on do I need to continue I don't want to continue we were attacked again? Jesus Christ! Give me a break! Oh, we were attacked again? Teamwork feats can make your party very powerful. Don't ignore them. I want to. I really want to, though. Those seem like a very dumb uh, line of feats. Don't you think? Very. Wait, what is that? Wake up! Tear them apart! They're the same enemies! They go down! Oh. <laughs> also, I have to say that I do prefer the the way like Fallout does it. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Go oh, fight! Serves you right. uh, the map, you can just you just have the freedom. Like literally they like like you just go wherever you want. You might not find anything there. Oh come on. Wow. I'm hungry. When we stop. We, we're fatigued again? Like, come on. Can we just rest here? I won't. I don't want to leave. Altered. I just I just rest in the place I got attacked at. How about that? I, I don't think we can do that. Okay. Let's just go out. Let's just rest to get rid of the fatigue. And I'm not. And I'm really not sure about this. I'm all for like, maybe not all for, but like, you know, if you want to put in some realism in the game, it does, it has to have like a, it has to be fun. It has to be engaging. I feel like it is just becoming more of a hindrance at this point. I'm not really feeling that immersed that I have to um, go and rest every two minutes. Then I get attacked. Now we're ready. Now we're ready to 
uh, keep journeying. I was I was just heading toward the Temple of Elk. Then I had to level up. Then I got attacked two times. All right. We are not quite ready because we're still blind. <laughs> That's bullshit. Oh, but we should be able to handle uh, a reasonable threat at this point. Look at this. like Decent hit points. You know, I'm feeling optimistic. Especially if we, we somehow managed to get a, a new companion. Maybe a... Uh, actually... Wait, where is it? No, the, the te Technic League encampment. We, we cheated and checked check the companion quest and follow Kal Kalana's trail. I'm not sure if this is uh, sad because uh, you might lose a companion because of that. Or maybe Kalana is a companion or maybe you pick up a companion there. We don't know. But we're definitely going to find out. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.